Hello viewers, let's talk rally. Let's sum up the seventh round of this year's European Rally Championship, Rally Hungary. Rally Hungary that gave us the new European Rally Champion. But before we get to that, let's tell a bit about the stages today. The organizers prepared seven stages, out of which six were two stages run three times. And the seventh one was a city stage here in Nirek Haza. Uh, that was uh, the first stage of the day after the first loop that took place in the mountains closer to the border with Slovakia. The roads here are generally very nice. Uh, the stages are very nice to watch. Uh, there are not too many roads to access the stages for the spectators, but if you get to the stages, you will have a nice uh, stage to spectate. Although there should be a lot more safety crews, there should be a lot more care for the spectators, as the way the spectators were behaving here on this rally is something I haven't seen in years. There were a lot of irresponsible people walking down the stages on the time when the drivers were passing through. And this is something absolutely unacceptable. I think that something should be done about this, at least unless they want to lose the European rally, uh, rally round here in Hungary, which would be a shame because this is really a very nice rally. But let's get back to the stages. Stage eight, Norbert Hercik, local hero, has a huge crash close to the end of the stage. He has several broken ribs, fortunately nothing more serious and him along with the co-driver will be checked out of the hospital late this evening. Uh, when their car crashed, an ambulance was needed and it was put on the road right before Johan Bonato, who was then complaining that this is completely crazy and that this rally is a joke. This is again another thing pointing out to poor safety on this rally. I think that something must be done about this. Stage 9, and we are again delayed. Yesterday the delay reached 40 minutes, now after the second stage we are already 40 minutes behind the schedule. Then we have the city stage, wonderful city stage with beautiful roads here, a lot of spectators, really nice stage to watch. Stage 11, and the delay reaches 1 hour. Stage 12, another 7 minutes. Then they are managing to, mm, to get back those 7 minutes and the rally ends with an hour delay. We are now an hour after the podium should be and the podium is right behind me. The drivers should have already been here. They will be here in a few minutes, in a few, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Now, uh, since stage 13, the final two stages, everyone is coming down. Uh, there is uh, quite a large gap be gaps between the drivers, except for the fight for the final podium place. Now, Andreas Mikkelsen, who is fighting for the championship, already decided that he will be going slowly, carefully to the, um, to the finish line, as all he has to do is finish 11th. Uh, that will give him the European Championship and he finishes 7th. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, stage 14, final stage, is run in total darkness, which was not planned. The drivers had their electrics uh, on front of their cars, so they had a lot of light. And the stage is won by Mikko Marczyk, who this way wins the third place of the rally. Now, the new European Rally Champion, uh, Mikkelsen Andreas, uh, he says that it's a great pleasure, thank you for the team, it's wonderful to win two championships in one week. Now, Efren Larena fighting for the second place in European Rally Championship. We had several problems, but we will be back stronger. Miko Marczyk, the guy who wins the third place on this rally on the final stage. We are thinking about the championship, we have to be responsible, but we gave everything on this stage, winning it. Now, Mats Ostberg, second in the rally. It's always the same. We do great times, we are very quick, and then we have problems. Niko Igriazin, the winner of the rally. Uh, when others had problems, we've managed to stay ahead of them and win the rally. It's nice to win this rally. Now, the rally final results. Uh, Niko Igriazin, Konstantin Aleksandrov, ahead of Mats Osberg, Torstein Eriksen, 37.2 seconds back. Niko Marczyk, Szymon Gospodarczyk, 59 seconds completing the podium. Anders Hadik, Christian Kertes, 1 minute 3 seconds behind of fourth. Then we have Elfren Larena with Sara Fernandez, Simone Campadelli with Tania Canton, Mikkelsen with Edmondson, Zeiss with Jakova, Bonato Boulond and uh, Smos Nagy complete the top 10. It is also important to note the top 5, so the second day classification. Miko Marczyk wins day 2 of Rally Hungary ahead of Ostberg, Griazin, Bonato and Somos. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is all that I have to say to you from Rally Hungary. I hope that you've enjoyed these vlogs. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channels as I'm about to go to Monza Rally for the final round of this year's World Rally Championship. Be sure to join me on the vlogs from that rally. Thank you for watching and goodbye.